Now, nothing says geekier or techier more than the field of robotics. So first up this week on Showcase, Sudeep Sayal profiles the rise of Think Labs, a robotic startup that was born out of a college workshop and today reaches out to across 30,000 students all over India. From the days of Robocop, let's face it, yes, we've all been fascinated by robos of all kinds. Giant robot, iRobot, small wonder, whatever really caught your fancy. Well, what about tapping into this interest and helping students learn the basics of physics and computer programming through them? That's exactly what IIT Mumbai classmates Gagan Goel and Abhishek Biswas thought of when they launched Think Labs. In my final year, like others, I joined the job first, okay, because of family pressure and all. After one and a half year, I realized that I should start a business. And first thing which clicked in my mind was robotics because I was having the experience, I was knowing it. So I, I never wrote the business plan. No business plan, unfortunately, also meant a lack of focus. And the initial plan was to retail robotic kits. He pulled in rupees 2 lakhs from his savings to launch Think Labs. And while the startup's incubation at Sign in IIT Mumbai was very fruitful in terms of technological innovation, a chance meeting with Praveen Gandhi of the Seed Fund forced them to take a relook at their product sales business model. Basically, we said we are not really in the business of selling products because that can work, but then you are competing with the likes of Lego. And there was just not enough money that anybody would give to build a brand, create the quality and the people that are running the company are knowledgeable about, about imparting skills on how to do, not the end product. So you can go and create, but that needs to be a tool to learn rather than a product in itself. The plan was now changed to one where educational workshops would be conducted using the robots as a learning tool. Along with the mentorship, Seed Fund also became a first round investor in the company by investing $1 million. This enabled them to expand to a larger office with two classrooms where they kick-started their workshops targeting college students. We started with the hobby level courses initially because the aim was to excite students first about the concept of practical learning. We came up with a two day programs. So we came up with a five different programs. All these courses were focusing right from some courses were for first, sec, first and second year, right? some were for the third and fourth year. right? All the syllabus and training material for the courses was created in house. And Think Labs also soon created their own set of workshops targeting school students titled Robo.in. Training course material is very much similar to what they learn in school, like the concepts of center of gravity, of friction, and then mathematics concepts like uh, area calculation, speed, distance, time, and all. But the difference is, in school they learn it in theory. Here they implement all those concepts in practical. One of the key enablers was the programming language they developed named Simple. Yeah, that's simple with a C, through which school students soon found out that, yeah, programming could even be fun. It's fun because it's simple drag and drop. Regular programming languages like C and C++ are textual in, uh, interface. So you cannot see what you are uh, programming or you're coding. Um, in Simple, you can see what you're doing. You can uh, program your robot and check for errors. You can uh, make it what you want it to do. With the early success from its training programs, Think Labs is now looking at partnerships with schools and colleges. We said, why don't we actually reach out to them in the college, try and add value by conducting a lot of courses, etc. during the curriculum itself. So we've come up with a lot of postgraduate diploma courses that will be run simultaneously in the curriculum. Of all the sectors, one of the biggest successes has been the embedded training program which has applications in multiple sectors including bioinformatics, avionics and mobile applications. In a short time span, the startup has notched up revenues of rupees 2 crore having trained over 30,000 students in over 200 educational institutions. They now plan to step this up using a franchising model wherein like training leaders NIIT, they will train franchisees to replicate their training program. 
With this, the startup hopes it will transform itself into a leader in the Indian educational training space. In the coming months, Think Labs plans to launch a do-it-yourself robo kit through which the company plans to reach out to students between the age group of 8 and 13. Perhaps then the company says it will gain applause from students of all age groups. Well, I can assure you both Sudhir and the robot have recovered from that little episode and so has in fact Think Labs. So much so that they're going ahead and launching RoboLiga, which is India's largest robotics and embedded systems contest, which is going to reach out to about 10,000 students across India over the next few months.